Movie explained here. Title Emily in Paris Season 1 Recap We weren't physically in Paris. Just like the lead character, its simple light-hearted narrative became a welcome shape of escapism, as visitors get prepared for more intrigue from Emily. Expert journey at Savoir In addition to her complex relationship with Gabriel, here's a whole overview of the whole lot that happened in Season 1 and the way it all ended. If you want a refresher, Emily in Paris, Emily boss Madeline prepares to make the transition from the Chicago based pharmaceutical advertising and marketing firm, the Gilbert Group, to a French fashion firm, Savoir. Whilst she discovers that she is pregnant, the Gilbert Group offers the process to Emily and she accepts. Leaving her boyfriend back in Chicago, Emily moves to Paris in spite of the truth that she does now no longer speak French. She moves into the fifth floor of an old condo constructing without an elevator however with a fantastic Parisian view. Emily adjustments her Instagram take care of from at Emily Cooper to at Emily in Paris and begins documenting her time in Paris. Emily starts her first day of work a lot to the chagrin of her new co-employees, who display that she became best employed due to a business deal. She introduces the French, who seem very reluctant approximately her and her American methods to American social media strategies. Emily by chance attempts to go into the wrong condo and meets her very attractive neighbor, Gabriel. As Emily will become familiar with lifestyles in Paris she makes endless faux pas and her colleagues nickname her Los Angeles Plauk or the Hick. Emily meets Mindy Chen, a nanny in the beginning from Shanghai, and that they grow to be speedy friends. After Emily and her boyfriend try to have cybersex and the relationship fails, she plugs in her vibrator and by chance short circuits the block's power. Despite suffering to in shape and with French workplace culture, Emily convinces her boss, Sylvie, to ask her to a peace celebration in which she by chance irritates Sylvie by speaking with Antoine Lambert, a client who turns out to be Sylvie's married lover. As punishment she is positioned to paintings advertising and marketing Vaga June, a lubricant for menopausal women. Annoyed with the gendered nature of the French language, Emily writes a submit approximately the product which is going viral, inflicting her to make an addition in roads at work. Emily's boyfriend tells her that she have to go back to Chicago as he struggles with a long-distance relationship, and he does now no longer need to go to Paris in spite of it being a pre-deliberate ride. She refuses to go back to Chicago and breaks off the relationship. She turns to Mindy for emotional support. Emily is invited to the shoot for De El Hura's modern-day commercial to take behind-the-scenes photos for social media and is bowled over to find out the commercial includes a model strutting nude down the punt Alexander III whilst proper guys ogle at her. She argues with Antoine that the ad is sexist whilst he counters that it's Miles sexy, leading Emily to indicate an internet advertising and marketing marketing campaign that asks the perfume's clients what they think. When the marketing campaign is going viral, Antoine sends Emily La Perla underwear as a thanks gift. Mindy gives to throw a night meal to help Emily meet new humans however the party as a substitute will become a rager. Despite meeting and hitting it off with a French guy from the party, Emily finally ends up going return to Gabrielle's restaurant for consolation after the person offends her. While suffering to talk at a flower shop, Emily is rescued by Camille, a pleasant French stranger and gallery owner who proves to be a profitable connection. When Emily discovers Sylvie and Antoine arguing at work, she attempts to reinforce Sylvie's credibility at work by pretending that she got here up with in concept to pair Antoine's perfumes with luxurious hotels. After a miscommunication that renders her work dinner reservation at an exclusive, high-priced restaurant in Ballad, Emily convinces Gabriel to host them at his restaurant as a substitute. As a gesture of thank you for his assist, Emily kisses him and he kisses her returned, leaving the restaurant. Emily bumps into Camille again, who famous that Gabriel is her boyfriend. With over 20,000 fans on her at Emily in Paris Instagram account, Emily is invited to Dury Cosmetics Influencer Lunch, in which her witty posts approximately the brand's products entice the eye of Dury CMO Olivia Thompson. Emily, however, fails to persuade Olivia to have Savoir represent their organization again, with Sylvie noted because the reason. Camille invites Emily to a night time out together along with her and Gabrielle. When on my own with Gabrielle, Emily asks that he forget approximately their kiss the night time earlier than, to which he has the same opinion. But later on, he admits that he, too, feels chemistry together along with her. Initially outraged at seeing Emily's Instagram posts for Dury, Sylvie needs that she delete her account. But whilst a customer will become inspired by one of Emily's posts, Sylvie begrudgingly lets in Emily to hold her account and to leverage on her influencer status. Emily joins Sylvie and Julian on a gota to the eight layer of hot couturier Pierre Cadol. Pierre is mortified by the gauche appeal on Emily's purse and calls her a simple bitch in French which hinders her credibility in the firm. At Café de Flore, Emily meets Thomas, a French philosophy professor. They get on well and he or she invites him return to her apartment and that they have sex. Emily and Thomas come upon Gabrielle and Camille, and Camille invitations them to sign up for them at a tapas restaurant. 
Thomas and Gabriel do now no longer get along. The next day, Gabriel tells Emily he thinks Thomas is a snob and now no longer worth of her. Emily discovers Pierre has designed the costumes for Swan Lake so she invitations Thomas to sign up for her. However, he insults her by telling her Swan Lake is a ballet for tourists. Emily realizes that he's a snob so she leaves him. She sees Pierre on the ballet so she walks into his non-public box to speak to him so he's going to continue to be with Savoir. Camille invitations Emily to lunch and asks if Savoir may want to take on her family's champagne winery as a client. Mindy's friend and her five bridesmaids are in Paris for wedding ceremony get dressed shopping. Camille invitations Emily to meet her family at their shadow. Gabriel surprises Emily by becoming a member of them for the weekend journey which makes Emily uncomfortable. Emily takes a tour of the winery and meets Camille's younger brother Timothy. Gabriel refuses Camille's mom's provide of a commercial enterprise loan. At a membership wherein Mindy's girlfriends are partying, they force her on degree to sing the music she flubbed on Chinese pop star. Back on the shadow. Camille and her mom are arguing so Emily takes shelter by the pool wherein she is joined with the aid of using Timothy. They drink champagne and finally have sex. At breakfast, she learns that Timothy isn't the brother Camille turned into referring to. As a substitute, it turned into her younger, 17-year-old brother. Emily meets Theo, Camille's older and greater age-appropriate brother. Emily in the end receives an possibility to pitch her idea to Camille's mom. Sylvie is unimpressed with Emily's concept to marketplace Camille's family's champagne. Emily meets Judith Robertson who's a member of the American Friends of the Louvre. She is aware about Emily's affiliation with Pierre Cattle and asks if Pierre is probably inclined to donate a dress to be auctioned at FL's fundraising benefit. Emily calls Matthew Cattle to set up a meeting so she will be able to ask him about the dress donation. They agree to satisfy at an artwork establishing at Camille's gallery. Sylvie and Luke also arrive at the outlet to satisfy Camille. At the AFL auction, gray space which includes avant-garde fashion designers, display up and bid for Pierre's dress. As Emily fashions the dress on degree, Gray Space shoots her with paint as a exposure stunt which shocks the audience. The next day, the stunt is featured in all of the newspapers and online. Pierre is despondent and takes to his bed. Emily visits him to attempt to undoubtedly spin the incident, however to no avail. As she leaves Pierre's home, she runs into Matthew who makes a bicep at her. Matthew takes Emily on a ship cruise date at the same then indicates her the view of Paris from his apartment. Their date is interrupted by a frantic name from Pierre, who's threatening to cancel his fashion show. Matthew informs Emily that Pierre is holed up in his atelier at the verge of a breakdown and may not display his new series to anyone. Sylvie blames Emily for shaking Pierre's self-assurance and fires her. Emily's co-employees tell her that during France it could be a long, hard technique to fire an employee so Emily can use this loophole to her advantage. The subsequent day Emily is referred to as with the aid of using Matthew approximately the state of affairs and tells her that Pierre has asked to look her. Sylvie overhears this and is going with Emily to look Pierre. At the Atelier, they see a dress from Pierre's new series, in want of a venue to release his style display. Pierre hijacks the out of doors of his former venue to reveal his new dress series, which the audience loves and makes him the toast of fashion week. To celebrate, Emily hosts a dinner at Gabrielle's restaurant for Matthew and Pierre. Mindy is of the same opinion to him see and sing at a drag bar nights a week. However, when she tells her employers, they fire her so she moves in with Emily. Gabrielle makes a decision to move to Normandy and open a restaurant there. Because his restaurant in Paris goes through a financial crisis, Camille attempts to persuade him a couple of times to just accept her family's provide to pay for the restaurant's expenses. However, he's nevertheless decided to leave. When the assertion is official and Gabrielle is about to move away, him and Emily provide into their dreams and feature sex earlier than announcing goodbye. Although, to their surprise, Gabriel doesn't need to leave anymore for the reason that Antoine gives to put money into his restaurant. Despite being satisfied for Gabriel, Emily involves the belief that their nighttime collectively will pose a good more risk to her friendship with Camille and her newfound romance with Matthew. Here is the end of season 1 of Emily in Paris and what occurred in next season 2. Now that Gabriel is back in Paris for good and Emily will stay at Savoir, the following section of this Netflix unique is bound to convey a ton of show. Emily should manage the stumble with Gabriel and either keep what occurred from Camille or at last own up to it. The two choices will not be simple for the person to deal with. On top of her heartfelt burdens, there is the way that Emily should keep on dazzling Sylvie and the remainder of her group at Savoir to take a chance with her vocation once more. I hope you liked the video. In case you discover this video beneficial then subscribe and share on your friends and press the bell button. Thanks for watching.